If you go to these pricing pages now and you use an agentic browser, like say ChatGPT Atlas or Perplexity Comet, and you're like, okay, <laughs> my agentic browser, here's what I'm going to be looking for. Can you tell me what I should expect to pay? And it will do the analysis for you of breaking down all these different scenarios. It will draw upon all the information it's collected across the entire web of like, here's what we think we know about the discounting practices of this company. And here's what you should be expecting to pay. And oh, would you like to see a comparison to the pricing of like two or three of the competitors of this company? I've done this with people. I've actually walked through on stage with folks for this too. And like, First of all, like the people who are buyers in the audience are like, oh, wow, that's just, that's wonderful. That's just exactly yeah. how I wanted this to go. I'm going to go get a golf membership because I don't have to do pricing comparisons. And then meanwhile, like anyone who's like a sales manager or sales director from a vendor in the audience, like they start looking for the bar because this blows out the entire control playbook of pricing and discounting and things like that. That used to be where the leverage was in saying, okay, at least here becomes the choke point where we can now fit people into our process to extract the information we want. And you get to a place where like buyers are like, no, we don't have to play your game for that. We actually have the, the information asymmetry starts to shift. And it is actually that the buyers have more information than the sellers do. And that's going to be pretty wild.